we're going to send an email from our spreadsheet and it's very simple to do. I've created this boilerplate that I've linked in the description. You can open this up, copy it. The code is built into the app script and you can use this for yourself. We'll walk through everything that it does, how it does it and how to make it on your way down there though. Why don't you click the like button and subscribe to my channel? Okay. Now we have three pieces of information here in columns A through C. We've got the recipient. You got to have that who you're sending the email to. You've got the subject line and then you've got the body of the email. These are non-negotiables. The app script we're using has to have at least these three things. It also has an options column here for a future possible video. There are advanced parameters that you can include in here. I'm not going to go through that today, but if you'd like me to let me know in the comments. And then I've got this checkbox column in column E. So this will allow us to simply check the rows we want to send the email. So it's going to ignore all these other rows unless we have a checkbox over here. And then finally over here is the quotas for Google services for the limits that you have. So you can't just spam a gazillion emails every day. You got a hundred if you're a consumer or 1500 if you're on a workspace account for email recipients per day using the app script. That's not bad, right? All right, let's get into the app script, shall we? So open it up by going to extensions, app script, and inside there, we've got a function that we will name send that email. Then we're going to grab all the emails. So I use named ranges in most of my videos. I created a named range here called emails, and you can go to data, named ranges, and you can select a range and name it. You can also use this little name box up here if you highlight anything and just quickly name it right here. Okay, I've done that. I've named this little thing for our emails. If you're using 100 or 200 or more rows, you just need to make sure that your named range includes all the rows that you're using for your project. Now back over here, this variable emails is simply holding the values from that named range. So we got spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. That's just grabbing the active spreadsheet. Then we've got get range by name. So that's just highlighting that range by name and get values. You could think of that like it's copying the values in that range. So all we're doing here is just going, Hey, control C we're copying those. Not really, but kind of. Then after we've got that variable, we need to go through each of the lines of that variable. So we have potentially many emails to send, right? So we're going to use a for each loop and you can think of this little thing right here, this little parentheses uh, with an E inside of it as each email. So this stands for just the element that we're going to loop through. And if that element, if E4 in this row, the first element in this column, column E, because we are at zero index. So column A is zero, column B is one, two, three, four. If E4, if this is checked, then and only then will we do what's inside of these curly braces. We'll send the email. We use this Gmail app dot send email method to grab the recipient, the subject line and the body. So these are held in that zero spot, the one spot and the two spot. Remember? So right here is the zero spot where our email address is, our one spot where our subject line is and our two spot where the body is. And that sends the email. That's all there is to it. I told you it was quite simple. Now, the other thing we're going to want to do though, just cause I don't want to run this every time from inside app script, I'm going to add a uh, little custom menu called send emails. And that is going to let this thing pop up every time we open the spreadsheet. So when I click this, and let's just modify this so uh, it behaves properly. But when I click this, then that's going to run the function that we just made inside of app script. And if we go back here to our inbox, check it out. We've sent another email. Now app script is kind of like cheat codes for your Google sheets. If you want to see something on using this to make calendar events, I've created a couple videos. Here's one of them that you can check out using the same type of method. We're going to create a list of events, check boxes over here, whether we want to add them or not. And it's going to create calendar events and it can also email reminder invites to people. Hope this is helpful. Again, comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Appreciate it. Have a great one and goodbye.